Hello, Business 330 Online students. This is Professor Hassey, Professor Rick Hassey. And today's date is Monday, October 24th. And I welcome you all to our Business Finance Online course this fall session two of 2022. This is the first lecture of many in this course over the next eight weeks. We will have two videos a week, one every Monday and one every Friday. The purpose of this video today, Monday, October 24th, is to introduce you to the class, introduce you to our Blackboard, introduce you to the infrastructure of our course so you feel comfortable with that. If you are having any problems with technology, with managing your time, because eight weeks are an awful lot, an awful lot of work in a short span, please feel free to contact me via email, via this discussion board, or view uh, on, on our student hours every Thursday night. I am here to help you. I'm here to help you manage uh, this work over this next eight weeks. I have taught this class for many years and I have it set up in a way that provides you with the greatest value for the time spent uh, during the course of these eight weeks. So welcome aboard, glad you're here. I'm speaking live and in color from my office in Claremont, California, which is just down the road from Laverne. And uh, this is where I'll be doing a lot of my broadcasting or video work over the next uh, eight weeks. So I welcome you all. First off, as you can see on your screen is our weekly agenda. I post these agendas every Sunday prior to the week uh, of, the, of the course. Our weeks go from Monday through Sunday. So as you can see, this first week is October 24th to October 30th. And my agenda basically gives you the highlights and the key points of the week that you'll see in Blackboard. Any problems to review. Remember, these are just review problems. They are not required for you to do. They're not required for you for a grade. They're just additional problems for you to practice. And I will be going over these problems in my Friday lecture at the end of this week. You have a discussion post this week to put together and show me how you use and if you how your expertise is in working with Blackboard in posting a forum where you're going to tell me a little bit about yourself in a bio and also creating a spreadsheet about a portfolio of stocks that you will choose that will track throughout this eight week course. And I'll explain more about that in a little bit. Next week, we talk about accounting financial statements and financial statement analysis. So basically we try to cover two, two chapters a week. Some weeks we'll cover even more of that. So the key is picking up our lectures and our work every Monday and getting a lot of it done throughout the course of the week. Don't wait till Sunday to try to do all your work. That's a, a formula for disaster. Try to spread your work out over the week. Here's our course syllabus for our uh, class this fall two session. Again, please take some time this week to review it, to get to know it. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. Uh, I can't tell you how, ma how many times during the course of an online class where it's kind of difficult to get engaged with the, the professor and students don't uh, really understand what's going on in the class until it's probably too late. So please study this syllabus. There's so much information on it. Here's my cell phone number if you want to send me a text message. Here's our link to our off student hours. Every Thursday night from 6 to 8 p.m. over the next eight weeks, I will be available for any questions, discussions, complaints, praises, whatever. By clicking on that link, I'm online every Thursday night, 6 to 8 p.m., I call it student hours. Now, you can con contact me anytime you like. If you want to send me an email or a text message and say, Professor Hassey, you available on such and such time. Uh, if I can make myself available, you can contact me anytime via Zoom. A lot of students, because this is an online class and many of you are working and have other things going on, the weekend might be a good time to get together with me. No problem. Give me a couple of days advance notice and we can schedule an appointment on the weekends. Here's our internet resources, which 
There's our Blackboard, which we'll take a look as you already have seen and with the Blackboard now being open. You have a, we have a YouTube channel. If you click on this YouTube channel, you will see we have a channel for our class, specifically business finance. And there it is right there. All kinds of videos. This is where I'll post my lecture videos, uh, all kinds of videos explaining the topics of the class. And you have access to this uh, video or playlist forever. You don't have to pay extra for it. This is part of my offering of material. And as you can see, it's all different types of videos throughout our class. And I'll be adding to this as we move forward. So please take advantage of these YouTube videos. They bring the perspective of the class and get you engaged in the class a lot easier. Also, another link is Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance. This is where you can track and put together your stock portfolio. And we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. But Yahoo Finance is very user friendly, very easy to monitor and get information about the markets. Remember, chapter two this week is about the financial markets. What are the basic definitions of a financial market? Part of your review for this week's topics. So Yahoo Finance is another internet source that we'll be using throughout our course. Here's our Blackboard site. Get to know this site this week. Take a look at what each one of these areas, course announcements, course syllabus, schedule and information, Zoom and YouTube links, Student discussion forum. This is your work for this coming week. Needs to be done by next Sunday. A digital textbook site where you can get digitally information about our textbook. There it is right there. Pretty nifty. A library guides website folder where you have various databases that we'll be using during the course of our class to do some research about companies. We'll be specifically using DNB Hoover's database. It's a great database. Long after you're done with this class and even done with your studying in business administration, this is a great site to use to analyze investment opportunities, get details information about any publicly traded company in America. If you're having difficulties or having trouble finding materials, here's a, an individual that is in our library. Her name is Linda Gordon. She is our business finance librarian. You can email her, contact her, click on this for an appointment and she will help you with any information sources you need for this class. Linda Gordon, a key network resource for you in this class. And then we have our weekly file folders. Every week of the course has already been prepared and mapped out. This is our first week. This is the week that you should study specifically these first few days of this week. There's our learning assignments for the week. If anything is in red, that means it is a graded assignment for this week due on Sunday. All graded work is due every Sunday night at midnight. If you need extensions, need extra time, I have no problem with that. It does not affect your grade whatsoever. All you need to do is just send me an email or a text saying, Mr. Hassey, can I have a couple extra days or an extra day to do our work this week? No problem. But if you don't let me know that you need an extension and come Sunday night after midnight and I see no assignment, zero. So make sure if you need extra time and I don't have a problem with that whatsoever, you let me know. And then you click on the week's file folder. There's our agenda that I saw, we saw at the beginning of class. Here's some class notes. This is a lecture PowerPoint that I'll be reviewing on Friday. Here's a sample of our class 
our student portfolio that you'll be preparing this week. And I'll talk more about that in a bit. Here's an introduction to the week. Every week we will have a finance fact about certain topics of the markets. This week it's what is the S&P 500? A description of our topics for this week, PowerPoints and descri descriptions of our chapter and our reading. And this week it's chapter one and two. Everything you need to study and prepare for the week's topics. Every week, there's week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, and our concluding week eight. All the material is there. All the introductions and information and PowerPoints are already provided. Now the ball is in your court. Stay up to date with me by watching my videos and taking, a, taking account of what's being discussed and assessed for that week. The ball is in your court. You now have all the materials you need in this Blackboard site. If you have any difficulties with the technology, if your Wi-Fi at home is not up to snuff, which is okay. If you're having issues with your computer, if you have an older computer, maybe it cannot take all this massive downloading, please let me know. We do not want technology to be a problem. If you're having difficulties with the technology of Blackboard, if you lose or forget your password, if you go to the course syllabus schedule and information file folder, there's a very good folder here that talks about tech support. Click on that folder and here's information about tech issues, what the technology office is open. There's a link, there's the email address, there's the phone number. If you're having technology issues, here's the service desk. They can help you with password resetting, troubleshooting, anything you need, this is your source of technology support for the class. Also, you can always ask me too. Also in this section of the student information are university information. All the information you need about tutoring, academic success center, campus map, counseling, campus safety, student health services, all kinds of information here as a student at University of Laverne, even though you're taking an online class, you're just as much of a student as somebody sitting in a classroom, maybe even more so. So please, you are a student, you have a variety of different services and offices available for you to help you. If you get behind, if you're having trouble managing, if you wanna to talk to somebody besides Professor Hassey, this is the reference to all the information you need in regards to this course and at the University of Laverne. Okay, please, very important. This is all in the course syllabus and schedule and information, huge data. There's your faculty member, there's my information, my phone number, my email address, all kinds of information to get in contact with me, a little bio about yours truly. I have a LinkedIn address. All business administration majors, people in business should be familiar with LinkedIn as a source of networking business information. There's my LinkedIn site, site that you might wanna follow. I have a lot of information, a lot of references, a lot of networking about jobs, career, facts in finance. So all kinds of information here available to you. Here's, this is a very important page here in this file folder is our key dates. When certain assignments and work are due, when the class is completed, course evaluations and when I will post the grades. Already mapped out and given to you, you might wanna take a picture of this or print it out. This is also in your course syllabus. Please take advantage and understand right up front this week when things are due so you can adapt your schedule. One of the difficult things that I have found with online learning is sometimes students take it for granted and don't keep up to date maybe join in in the Blackboard once a week, once every two weeks, and you might miss an assignment. Mark it now, down now on your own personal calendar, these dates when work is due for this class. 
very important. So that's our Blackboard site. Please get to know it this week. It can be, it's a wonderful tool to learn. You just have to take time and effort to do that. Now, at the in week number two, I'm going to be sending out in Blackboard a request to meet with all of you for five or 10 minutes and setting up, setting up a Zoom appointment with you during that week, according to your schedule and availability. In week two, I will get try to get to know you one on one in very short meeting about asking you if you have any questions or concerns about the course. Do you have any, uh, do you need to ask me anything about the course? We will have individual instructors uh, meetings the second week of our class and look for that at the end of this week where I'll post a schedule. You pick a date and time, you click on the link and hi, Professor Hassey, let's chat for five or 10 minutes about the course. We will do this in week number two. And going back to our syllabus, the syllabus is there to explain the course, explain the objectives of our course. Here's our textbook, the 10th edition of Fundamentals of Corporate Finance, McGraw-Hill. A lot of students in the last week since I've opened up the course have asked me, can you rent this book? Please do. Can I get away without having the book? Well, that's up to you. If you notice in every, and during our eight weeks of our Blackboard setup, every chapter has a PowerPoint and a brief explanation of the chapter. Some students sometimes feel that they can get away with that. But then also when it comes time to reviewing, reviewing problems that I might talk about in my lecture, a textbook is very helpful in that. So you make the decision, but I try to give you all the resources within Blackboard to be prepared and study for this class. As we'll find out this week in our portfolio setup, how are you working with Excel or Apple numbers? Can you prepare a spreadsheet? We're going to be doing many, many uh, work, much work, excuse me, in Excel or PowerPoint or spreadsheet analysis. Being up to speed on that and just having the basic skills in that are very important for your class. Here's our learning modalities. We have video lectures. We review class problems in those lectures. We discuss and read relevant cases and topics. You'll see that as we go forward, you'll be having a series of three assignments, having a, uh, examinations, and you'll be preparing a case paper, all in a span of eight weeks. Much work to be done. My expectations for you, for me, the exp explanation of some of our work. I need to update that date there, by the way. Your responsibilities, my responsibilities, academic honesty. If you need to, and you're doing an assignment, a discussion post, an examination, a paper, and the material you use in explaining your answers does not come from your own head, you have to reference it. You have to tell me where you got that information. You have to source it and give me a reference page in your work. If you do not do that, you can lose many points or sometimes get a zero by not being accountable to where you get the data for your answers. There's no problems about, I have no problems about having student study groups. All the work in this class is individual. There's no gr group work. But if you want to get together with other students and study together and use that discussion or those study groups as a way of solving questions in our, in our assessed work, as long as you let me know where that information came from your study group and post that as a reference source in your work, I have no problem with that. Academic honesty, a key. And then the university vision, this is public relations stuff of University of Laverne. Uh, Title IX statement, sources of information. There's those important dates again. And then here's our course outline of the material and the chapters and the, if it's in yellow, the assessed or graded work <laughs> for this week 
or for each week. Again, if the online activity, what you need to study online is on the left column, your graded or assessed work is in the right column throughout the eight weeks, <laughs> excuse me, of our course. Get to know this, study it this week. It'll be very important for you to keep track of that and make sure you know when things are due and how things work in this class, our course syllabus. Now, I've gone through this rather quickly this evening, and if I have, I apologize. But again, this, these lectures are all recorded. They're all put, uh, the recording versions are in YouTube playlists for our class, and also right here in the Zoom and YouTube links. These will be where I post all the recorded sessions. Remember, every week we have at least two videos. Some weeks we'll even have more, but two weeks, one every Monday, which is an introduction to the week, and a lecture, tonight no lecture, just introduction. And then Friday, a follow-up to the lecture, a follow-up if you have any assessed work due that weekend, a follow-up to all our work of that week. Every Monday and every Friday, expect a video. I will send out emails to you all, letting you know this work has been posted to Blackboard. So I can't uh, say enough to monitor and keep track of your emails, your Laverne DU emails, not Gmail, not Hotmail, not whatever mail, Laverne.edu mail. That's where I communicate with you and let you know postings are in Blackboard and everything is available. Now, as we get rolling in class, I monitor your performance in Grade Center. Where is the Grade Center? If you go to the front part of, of your Blackboard, you'll see here a report card. After every grade, the cumulative average of this course, of the course in your grade is right here. You always will see where you stand as far as a grade average at the end of every posting. For example, you're doing some graded work this weekend. After you post it, I will review it early next week and I will grade it. That will be in your grade center. And that grade center or highlight would be right here. So let's say you got a 95 on the first discussion post. You'll see a 95 here. You click on that 95 and it'll give you the details of what made up that grade. So every week as you post assessed work, that will be accumulated and cumulative over the course of the class. Another thing that's very important to know is one of the advantages of this Blackboard platform is I can track when you visit the site. So if I see some students that aren't maybe participating much in coming on the Blackboard to seeing what's being posted or what's available, and I see your grade maybe being affected by that, which it will, I'm gonna send you a personal email asking you, are you having any issues with technology? Do you need any help? Can you manage your time accordingly? So I monitor all your use. Big Brother, yes, is watching when it comes to this Blackboard site. But again, also next week, as I said earlier, week two, we will have individual five to 10 minute sessions with me just to make sure you're all up to speed and let us meet face to face so we get to know each other because this eight weeks will go by so fast. And a key to success in online learning is getting engaged as quickly as you can with the material, with the infrastructure, and with the professor, me, okay? Now, last thing, student discussion forum this week. This is your assessed material for this week. And it's a, a discussion forum that you create and you're doing two things. First off, you're giving me a brief bio biography about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me why you choose Laverne. Give me your social security number. No, that's a joke. Don't give me your social security number. Include a picture or a video about yourself if you so desire. Remember, when you post to the discussion forum, all your fellow students will see it as well. This is a good place of getting to know your fellow students. It's almost like being in a classroom without being in a classroom. So there's your bio. Also, part two is, an, again, another forum where I ask you to select up to five stocks from the American New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ Exchange 
and we'll track these stocks over the course of our eight weeks. We will do some assessed work and some analysis of the companies that you chose in, during the, in your portfolio. Maybe do some financial statement analysis, maybe track dividends, maybe understand why the stock is going up or down in the markets. This is part of the real world aspect of our class. So every during you'll find uh, your stocks and price them out this Friday, October 28th. And then over the course of the next eight weeks, about every three or four weeks, we'll do an assessment of, the, of our portfolios, an update and see what's going on. You have $100,000 to invest in. In that 100,000, you'll pick your stocks and determine how much shares you purchase effective this Friday, October 28th. This serves two purposes in this course. Number one, many of us don't have much experience in the stock market. Many of us haven't invested in stocks. Well, this is a good way of learning about stocks and how they are managed in the market. And secondly, it's also a good way of learning how to use and put data in a spreadsheet. That's a key part of your business studies, being able to use spreadsheets for data, interpretation of data. This is a good practice for that. I give you a sample here of what the portfolio should look like. Now this sample is in a PDF format, but the actual format will be a spreadsheet. I'm giving you a PDF format because I don't wanna give away the formulas. I want you to put in the formulas in a spreadsheet and show me what your portfolio looks like. So here's a view of what that portfolio or this file looks like. There, here we go. So this is what your course portfolio will look like. Uh, every, anything in yellow here, you need to fill out this first week by on Friday, October 28th, to post, or to post by Sunday, October 30th. If it's in yellow, you fill in these cells. All right, where it says sample, you put your name, okay? Then if you notice, this is my portfolio for the class for this fall two session. I've picked four stocks. Remember I said you can pick one stock up to five. I picked Apple, ExxonMobil, Pfizer, and Disney. Boy, am I gonna be taken in the shorts this fall, but we'll see. And notice my portfolio value is $100,000. That, that has to be the portfolio value, exactly $100,000. So I allocated my four stocks, $25,000 a piece. Now, what do I next need to have to do? Well, on Friday, October 28th, I will go probably to Yahoo Finance and find the closing market price of Apple, ExxonMobil, Pfizer, and Disney on Friday. What did it close at in the market? And you can get that in Yahoo Finance. Remember. Here in California, the stock markets close every day when they're open at 1 p.m. They open at 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. Now, you don't have to be right on your computer at one o'clock to get the closing price. You can get the closing price over the weekend. But make sure you get the closing price of whatever stock you pick. Now, that's a good question. Mr. Hansen, I know nothing about stocks. What am I going to pick? Pick a company that you're interested in. All right. Pick a company that you like their products. I picked Apple Computer because I love Apple products. That's fine. I picked Walt Disney Company because I like watching ESPN. I like Mickey Mouse. I like going to Disneyland. I like their products and services. I picked Pfizer because I'm kind of watching the markets and healthcare is kind of hot these days. Maybe I want to find out how a stock in the healthcare industry is doing. I picked ExxonMobil because of the changing value of oil these days. Whatever the reason is, you pick it. And then once you find the price and put it in this cell, then you have to do a formula. You have to take that price on Friday and divide it into $25,000. That'll give you the number of shares you are purchasing on Friday. In other words, there would be a cell here and it'd say equal 
this cell, this cell, excuse me, this cell divided by this cell, and you'll get the number of shares. So that will keep the value of the investment constant, 25,000. And I want that share cell to be rounded to the nearest whole number. So you're going to be taking the price and dividing it into your investment that you've already determined to get the amount of shares you're purchasing on Friday the 28th. At the same time, we're going to track the three key indexes of the market. These three indexes are mentioned in weeks one, two, and three of our Blackboard and their definitions. This week, it's the S&P 500. Week two, it's the Dow. Week three, it's NASDAQ. These are the key market indicators of market performance. <clears throat> and I want you to get the closing value of the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ on Friday the 28th. Why? Because we're going to track the performance of the markets versus the performance of your specific portfolio throughout the class. And as, if some of you do play the markets, what's the one major question a lot of us who are invested in stock act, ask? How is our portfolio doing versus the markets? Are we beating the market? Are we doing better than what the market is doing? And that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. So again, this is a PDF format, but I want you to create a spreadsheet, either in Excel, Google Sheets, whatever. And then once you have that sheet done, you save it. And then what I want you to do is go back to your discussion forum and stick this in this file folder. So example, you'll open up, click on the heading of the discussion forum. You will create a forum, create a thread. And you, you'll call this thread, uh, this thread, my bio, my bio and my portfolio. And then you'll type in your bio here and you'll attach right here, you'll attach your spreadsheet file. Also part of this discussion forum is to explain to me very briefly why you chose the stocks and have that included in the forum as well. If you look at my sample here in the portfolio or in the thread, you'll see here, I have, I've already posted something there. If you want to look at that, I've given them a bio about myself. It mentioned my stock selections. This is exactly what I want you to do for your discussion post this week. It tells me your ability to use and post information to Blackboard and at the same time, create a spreadsheet to track a portfolio over the next few weeks. I once you post that file on this and your bio, an explanation over the week, again, and it, I'll post the grades back to you next week. And then we go forward into the future using that portfolio for our class. It's a good way of learning the market. So here's a sample that you can see how I did it if I was a student here in our class. And there it is right there, Professor Hassing's post. So you create a thread and create that information. That's our graded work for this week. Now, during the course of the week, if you have any questions or concerns, there's every week there's a student question and comment file folder where you can click on it and create a thread and say, hey, hey Hassing. What's up? And you can ask me a question or a can complaint or tell me how great I am, whatever you want to do. And then you type it all here, post it, and I can get, I check on this every day if you have any issues or, or questions. And that's another place of posting or asking questions in the discussion forum, the weekly student questions and comments file folder. So as you can see, there's a lot to get started on, a lot to review work. As you all, many of you have probably already had an online class before. Each professor has their own ways of doing things. As you can see by the look of this, of your our Blackboard, I use the old school, old style Blackboard. 
Many professors now use what is called the ultra version, which is a little bit more slick and up to date. I'm kind of old school. I like using the old ways. So again, each professor has their own way of doing things. Each professor has their own way of getting you engaged and involved in the class. Uh, you need to get used to that. If you have any problems with how I'm setting this up or any questions, I'm an open book. I'm available. My job is to create value for you and, prevent, and provide you with a strong way of learning about business finance. So there you go. YouTube playlists, Blackboard, Yahoo Finance, all kinds of information in Blackboard, our weekly work. And every week you'll have learning assignments that you need to be aware of to learn about the material. Remember, review problems are not for grades. It's just going over typical problems. And I will talk about some of those in my video on Friday. So there you go, sports fans. We're off and running. I want to thank you very much for joining our group this year. I think we have uh, 12 students, I believe, in our class. I, maybe, maybe it's more than that. Let me ask. Might be more than that. We have uh, 15 students in our class. So that's a good, that's a perfect group for an online course. You can all be engaged. You can all uh, feel free to ask me anything and get quick responses. So I look forward to working with you all. And I wanted to say that. Uh, this should be a great experience for you. I'll make it as pleasant and uh, seamless as possible. And uh, I'm sure you'll get some value out of this course. So again, Professor Hassey from his messy office in Claremont, California. I look forward to working with you all. Have a great week and I'll see you back on the internet this Friday. Adios. <laughs>